one of the things I'm not doing is making making pieces of music. I'm I'm it's it's something else. I don't have time to talk about that, but it's something else in live. It's a uh, I don't make records anymore, so uh, I haven't done that for years. Th this is this is the thing I'm working on. It's it's finding a way to 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 um, I sort of thinking of it like creating over a long over your lifetime a vocabulary, a kind of a kind of orchestra, and when I get on the stage, I'm the com composer and the performer. I'm, I'm and creator, composer and conductor of this thing. I don't play, sometimes I play notes, sometimes I have notes there that I bring in and do things with them. And I has to be, I have a general plan, but it has to be spontaneous on the stage. It's like, maybe it is magic, you know, it's like, it's like mixing things and moving things around. And uh, um, and it, 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 the other, in Berlin a, a week ago when I performed, and I, I performed, that was the only time in my life I've done that, I performed with another person. I gave them something to do, a younger person, a DJ. And um, and I told uh, Lillivan and, um, and um, the other person, um, Alec, um, that I think I'm going to start completely different tonight, so just be careful. It's going to be much longer. The opening is going to be something completely different than we've been rehearsing for three days. <laughs> commissioned him back, or I, I, I looked for an engineer back in the 1960, and um, I was look, looking for something that, um, looking to create something that would um, not be an old instrument using electronics, because there was nothing at that point, and uh, there was going to be lots of things. And um, I, I thought what's going to happen is, um, People will make instruments with electronics and bring the past to the future. And um, I wanted to, I, I wanted him to make something that um, that was neutral. That that when you came to it, you didn't bring the piano forward or a violin forward, but but you would make your own. You would make something with your own imagination. And um, so we had no keyboard, it was just human in input. And that's what we did. And um, sure enough, um, a year later came the Moog, and it's a wonderful instrument with a black and white keyboard. And I kept going, and um, I thought, well, someday people will, you know, some, somebody's gonna come along and say, well, hey, that's an interesting way to do it. <laughs> 
if you make a commercial thing, you want to sell it to somebody, right? The only way it gets commercial is if a lot of people buy it. And if it's something really new, um, you don't have a memory of anything that you don't understand. So when you see a piano, oh, there's a new, that seems new, you know, but because it's got wires and everything. And um, I don't think you can have um, commercial success with a very new thing. If it, if it is a commercial success, success, it means that it's not very new. It means that it somehow is attractive. It's something you want. How do you have, know you want something you've never seen before? Some people will want it. Always over some people, but it was never a big success. And then it, um, you know, there's a certain point at which enough people have done it, or I don't know what the reason is, but it's not a big success now either. thought of it as electronic music. I thought of it as a new music made with electronics. Uh, I didn't think about sign tones and this and this. This was just a way, to, you know when I thought about it, I thought it, it was like um, um, a painter's easel, you know, the old fashioned, where you have the pigment and you you don't just take the red and put it there and the blue and take it there, but you mix them to make your own color. And, uh, and you draw whatever you want to draw. It's not like for photography or something. You, you make whatever you want. So I thought it was an electronic way to make music that would be brand new um, for every person. Um, so I don't think of it as electronic music, like violin music or piano music or, you know, I, I think of it like music made with electronics. It's because there's a big difference between violin music, you really know what it is, you know, it's, it's, it's got to do this and the piano music has to do that. Um, this does, it, to me, there's still, there's, that's what I'm trying to finish, you know, I'm trying to finish what I, I it's, it's hard to, it was new to me too. The idea was new, so I didn't know what I was doing. And I'm gradually, I'm almost done sort of understanding it a little bit of what it is that a new thing would be. And it's, I think it's just in the last, what, 10, 15 years that it's sort of become um, more interesting to people, more people are the Euro rack and things like that. Um, and I think it, I mean, if you consider, I'm, I'm gonna be 85 in, uh, in April, and um, I started all this my late 20s, so it's, it's almost, you know, it's almost 60 years I've been, been doing it, just me alone. So, um, and I think it's gonna be another generation or two before um, more than one person begins to act, I think people are doing it now, but, but uh, begins to see it beyond electronic music. Oh, we can, we turn it on and we make music with it. It's it's more than that to me. It's 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 um, it's it's you turn it on and figure out what you want to make. <laughs>
computer is not is not an instrument. It's a it's the computer is more like what my thoughts were about making this what became the bukla. Um, it can be anything you want it to be. So I don't. I think I think the computers are getting faster. We're going to have better computers. Um, better ways to make computers, but it in itself is not an instrument. It's it's a way to make instruments. Uh, I'll tell you. Um, I think it was around fifty thousand years ago. I'm not that long, so I don't remember. But but I think it was about fifty thousand years ago that um, we began to paint as people, as humans, paint and make our first instruments and things like that. And we'd been around for a long, long time before that. You know as when we evolved into, from chimpanzees into whatever we are. Um, but what they found, we, we had tools, we, we were killing animals with stones and things like that. But what they found 50,000 years ago that they think may have changed us into making, to being different, to be more like we are now, was a tool, a, a stone that was made not to, to kill anything or to hit anything, but to make other tools. And that, you can imagine where that leads. That suddenly opens the door to lots of things, like the, the amplification of the guitar, making it loud, suddenly wasn't a guitar anymore. It was more than a guitar or different than a guitar. And I think, um, I think that's what the computer, as the computer gets better, you get more ideas, right? So we're going to have faster. Imagine if we, when we get a quantum computer, you know, that that, that really is it, so fast that even fast doesn't matter anymore. Um, I think that's what's going to happen. I think we're going to be where we are now, except that little thing, whatever it is, is just imagine being traveling, but instead of really fast, doing like they did on, on, on uh, Voyager, you know, you, you're here and then pop, you're over there. That's not impossible, but when that, that movement gets that, it's not even fast anymore, it becomes different. So I, I don't know when that moment will occur, but that it's not going to be, you know, oh, now we have a, not, now we're going to go to the hitting boxes or something like that. It's going to be it's going to be where we are now, except in such a way that it feels very different. problems for uniqueness is that um, we actually, it's almost impossible to do something really new. But you can do, we're, we're caught, for instance, um, if I ask you, um, um, if I go, doo, doo, I say, is the first note higher or lower? You would know what that is, right? Doo, doo. First note is higher. But high isn't, music pitches aren't really high. They're frequencies that are faster. We call them high. In some cultures, they call them little and big. In other cultures, they call them um, young and old, young and old. Um, but it doesn't feel natural to it. I mean, we, we point to the top if it's high. Um, 
I, to get an, to get a, your head around so that I mean, we've all had the problem with a um, a glass of water, right? Is it half full or half empty? But what about a, a, a glass of water that is uh, a half glass of water? You have to think twice in order to say that to get rid of the the implications of, of full and um, and empty. And one of the one of the once you once you do this, once you begin to realize that your brain is being held by these these ideas, these metaphors that we were born that we were given when we were born. Um, one of the exercises I give to, to um, young people, I mean, I, I learned it myself very hard, is at the end of the day to look out and see the earth rise, not the sun fall. And in the morning to see the sun, the earth fall, not the sun rise. So when you can, when can you can reverse, and that's actually true. That's <laughs> that's as true as the other. Neither are really happening, but that's as true. But we can't. We don't see it that way. We don't see it that way because, for whatever reason, we've learned it the other way. So once you can actually see it, that means your brain has now reconstructed it for that moment. So that reconstructing your brain. Breaking down the metaphors that we've been living by um, is the first step. It's, you can't do it without that. That's why it's taken me so long, you know, to, to I, literally, I mean it. I've been working all these years to break down the metaphors so that the music that I'm making is, is really a music that comes out of the, out of the, um, the world that is not the music I would have made with musical instruments. finish I'm still working on what I started I'm just finishing then I'll turn around and look <laughs>